A world of possibilities. You can feel the excitement, not just among the players, but the coaches and fans as well. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three slot. Just four to shoot. Russell from outside. The three, James. Davis, the pass to Reeves. Second chance shot. And here's Achimura. Over Avdia. And it's Achimura missing. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Poole outside. To the paint. Who poked away. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. Here's Reeves. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Making a statement here early. Going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. Well, this is his game. Be proactive offensively. Put the defense back on his heels. Now here's Kuzma. The kick out to Poole. Over Russell. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Hachimura finds James. James double team. Pass to Russell. Fires from deep. Here's Reeves. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Reeves has got five points. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Russell against Poole. Here's Vukcevic. Pass to Avdia. Kuzma against James. Kuzma! That's good. And this is what you expect from Kyle Kuzma. He has a scores mindset. It's probably his strongest attribute. Grant, you grew up here in Washington, D.C. What's the hoop scene like here? Well, B.A., they love the game of basketball here. And the fans are unbelievable. So many stars from here like Kevin Durant. So D.C. is kind of a sneaky, underrated basketball city. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Pass to James. Five to shoot. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. The shot by Russell. No good. Washington trailing. Avdia passes to Poole. Stolen by Davis. Now James. Against Toronto, he was really on his game. And Davis slams it home. Watch out and watch your head when AD goes up. Russell against Poole. And there's the drive. Pass to Avdia. Back to Poole. Shot clock at six. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by the Lakers. Last time, they met in Los Angeles. They really had a strong night shooting the basketball. They got hot and stayed hot. They were very patient, and that was the difference. It's hard to be patient, I know. But look at the outcome they had. Do you want to get him going as soon as possible? Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Now here's Kuzma. Drains it from nine feet away. Kuzma's got his second bucket on the night. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Outside Davis. Here's Reeves. And there's another one for the Lakers. And <laughs> their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. And so it's Poole who brings up the ball for the Wizards. Seven-point differential. Kuzma outside. Three-pointer. 
That one's off. He's two for three in the game. The Lakers have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Pass to Reeves. Now here's Hachimura. Davis down low. Guarded by Poole. Four on the clock. Here's Russell. Kispert grabs a miss. The Wizards have gone two for five here in the first. It's Poole on the wing. Pass to Vukcevic. James against Kuzma. Here's Kispert. Poole outside. From downtown. Can't get it. 0 for 3 in this one. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. Outside Russell. And Davis gets double teamed. James outside. Pulls it from 20. Apia pulls it in. Washington has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Kuzma outside. Pass to Kispert. Poole against Davis. Here's Vukcevic. His first shot coming late. Good. He hits the jumper. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Here's James. That one falls. He's now one for three. They have no answer defensively inside. The Wizards have gone just three for seven here at the start. Poole finds Kuzma. To the middle. Vukcevic, good. Vukcevic has gotten his second bucket. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Outside Davis. Pass to Reeves. James deciding where to go with it. Davis with it. Out of bounds. It'll be Wizards ball. All right, a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last few months for Rui Achimura. He's been on a tear offensively these past few months, and you know how much they love the extra points he provides. He's been shouldering a bigger load recently, and I think he's just getting started. Davis, he's checked in for Kuzma. The Lakers also with a sub. Prince has checked in. Poole against Russell. He got a piece of it. And they bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Here's Prince. Eight points in his last time out. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And their goal on the offensive end is simple. Pound it inside. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? Right out of the gate, they've been in attack mode. And I think that's by design because it has been relentless. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. Well, Smitty is a ball handler. D'Angelo Russell is a pretty complete player offensively. Yes, he is, B.A. He's very smart with the ball. And he knows how to read shots of others and himself. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Pass to Reeves. Back to Russell. And there's the lob. And Davis slams it home. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. Here's Vukcevic. And here's Davis. From 12 feet. And he comes up with a bucket. The defense seized up just a little bit there, and it cost him dearly. Here's Russell. He had 25 points in the win against Toronto. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. Now here's Russell. And he drops it in from the low post. Russell's got five. I like Russell's intensity. Getting some contact, but not backing down. Pass to Vukcevic. Back to Poole. 
Inside. Oh, the block! Just stops it cold and takes possession. Hachimura finds Prince. Hachimura in the post. Guarded by Poole. And the basket by Hachimura. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something they like. Here's Vukcevic. Hapia from outside gets the three ball to go. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. It's Prince on the wing. No points so far. Hachimura from long range. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Here's Avdia. A 23-point game for him in the win against Milwaukee. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. Here's Hachimura, and there's another one for the Lakers. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Cool against Russell. Pass to Kispert. Back to Avdia. Cool, the pass to Avdia. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Hachimura. Avdia can't get it to go. Los Angeles has gone two for four from range to start things off. Here's Prince. Back to Russell. With the floater. Oh, some solid defense from Poole. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Up top, Davis. Here's Vukcevic. Checked by Davis. Cool against Russell. Cool, the pass to Davis. And he banks in the layup. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. One second left. The shot that time, not on target. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. Taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Especially at the start. You want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. Here's Butler. A 17-point game for him in the win against Milwaukee. So on the floor for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. They've got Jackson Hayes, LeBron James out there with Torian Prince, then there's Cam Reddish, and it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard position. The Lakers in the lead. Well, Smitty, despite starting in the play-in, the Lakers made it to the conference finals last year. And it wasn't easy, B.A., knocking out Ja and the second-seeded Grizzlies. Then defeating Steph and the defending champion Warriors. A really impressive run. So it's Washington now. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Gill pass to Davis. Kuzma down low. James is there. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. 
One free throw coming up. And Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure's real. And it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. Free throw off from Kuzma. This is hard to believe, Grant, but the Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. It is hard to believe. I mean, they've had some fantastic players over the years. But let me tell you, these fans in my hometown are hungry for a deep playoff run. Butler passes to Gill. Now here's Davis. Outside Butler, just five to shoot. Takes it inside. Misses in close. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Pass to James. The rebound by the Wizards. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, the Wizards not making the playoffs the last couple of seasons motivated them to bring in some youth in Jordan Poole, and the players say that they've seen dramatic improvements from player facilities, energy, and player development. They said they're transitioning, they're going in the right direction, but they still have a lot of improvements to make. Good point, Ali. Thank you. Now, here's Kuzma. He's got six. From behind the arc. They get it back. Gill. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Hill's got his first bucket in this one. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. James against Kuzma. Another shot. Punching it inside. LeBron. We still see the fire of LeBron James. After all these years, he's still fighting. Pass to Baldwin. Back to Butler. Shoots over Dinwiddie. The shot by Butler. No good. For Los Angeles, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. James finds Dinwiddie. Back to James. Dinwiddie with it. Launches it from deep. Davis with a rebound. And here's Davis. He'll bring it up for Washington. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Dinwiddie against Kuzma. Back to Butler. From the wing. That shot is off. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. Pass to Dinwiddie. James outside. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. And it's a 12-point Laker lead. The power to shoot a clean three from any distance. One of LeBron's many weapons. Gill pass to Davis. Outside Butler. They set the screen from deep. Butler can't get that one to fall. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Prince, the pass to James. LeBron on the go. And slam dunked by James. Can't do anything about it. LeBron gets a step. Next thing you know, he's hanging off the rim. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Now here's Butler. No made baskets yet. And here they come. The three from Prince. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Now a timeout called by Washington. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. All right, everybody. 
Substitutions here. Kuzma outside. Back to pool. Pass to Kispert. Here's pool. Six to shoot. Stop the drought. Got a hand on it. They retain possession. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And the call will be against Kyle Kuzma. Kyle That's Kuzma. his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. And he lobs it up to the rim. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Pass to Kuzma. Blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Hachimura, the pass to James. And here's Davis. On the wing, Kuzma. Back to Davis. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Pass to James. Down low. High arcing shot. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by James. James has got three assists tonight. And it's Poole with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Trailing by 19. Following this one, they host the Trailblazers. Now here's Kuzma. Clock at six. To the inside. It's stolen by James. And it's the Lakers on the break. The pull-up jumper. And the Lakers tack on two more. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Smitty, part of what makes LeBron James so inspiring is how competitive he is still. B.A., I don't think he'll ever lose that fire in his eyes. But you're right. He's still hungry. Every game, even the little ones, LeBron wants to win just as bad as ever. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Russell with the ball. Poole picks him up. Davis misses. Washington shooting only 31% in the second quarter of this one. Poole finds Kuzma. Now Davis. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul. Washington calls timeout. Well, Smitty, it's 6'8 with your ball handling ability. You were known for your versatility in your playing days. I was, B.A. I was drafted as a point guard, but I've probably been all for in today's NBA. It's positionless basketball nowadays for the NBA. Everybody's skilled to handle and shoot the three.
Padilla. He's checked in for Kuzma. And the Lakers also making a change. Prince has checked in. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Here's Prince. And again, it's the Lakers. Torian Prince takes the hit, maintains focus. He's a tough individual. Davis with a screen on Russell. Here's Poole. High quality look as he sinks it. Poole's got five. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Russell. He's got five. Over Poole. Misses off the right iron. Pass to Avdia. Now Davis. Six on the shot clock. Takes a 13-footer. And again, it's Washington converting. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Outside Russell. And that's his third bucket in eight attempts. Yeah, aggressive move by Russell. He's got the deep bag of tricks. So tough to stop. Pass to Vukcevic. Outside Davis. Now here's Poole. Guarded by Russell. Here's Vukcevic. Davis, the pass to Kispert. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. It's deflected! Here's Russell. Pass to Achimura. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the second quarter. Davis down low. He had a 21-point out in their last game against the Raptors in Toronto. He owned the glass in that one, too. No one could put a body on him. <laughs> their intensity has only picked up this quarter, even while holding the lead. And there's 138 left in the first half of basketball. Davis from long range. Davis missing again. He's an okay long-range shooter, but not with a defender right in his face. Pass to Prince. Drops in the layup for two. Prince has gotten his third basket of the night. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Outside Davis. Takes a three. Davis missing again. Los Angeles has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Prince. Back to Russell. Yep, count it. Russell's got four points this quarter. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Russell against Poole. Here's Avdia. And the layup is good off the glass. Avdia's got five. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. 17 seconds left in the first half of this game. Here's Reeves. Checked by Davis. Reeves, the pass to Davis. Davis drawing the double team. The three from Prince. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with plenty of breathing room. 23 points to end the quarter. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. We'll be right back. Put your hands
Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. When I look at the Wizards, at this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happens for us, too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm going to reveal those, you know, over time, not just all in one sitting. But you're right. There is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working and what isn't. And now let's talk about our game at hand. What a first half for the Lakers. They've been the better passing team tonight by far. Everyone's looking engaged, involved. They have great chemistry out there. Yeah, you can see these guys enjoying playing together. That makes everything easier. Practice, traveling, all of it. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Avdia and Kuzma at the forward slots. Corey Kispert out there with Jordan Poole. And it's Vukcevic in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five on the floor for the Wizards. Pass to Kuzma. Back to Poole. From deep. And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Well, the Lakers shooting really well in this matchup. 62% from the floor. Pass to Russell. High post Davis. Tries it from 16. Rebound, Washington. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Now Poole. Back to Kuzma. Here's Vukcevic. Checked by Davis. Kuzma with the ball. Here's Kispert. Poole outside. Puts up a three. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Hachimura. Uses the glass on the layup. Hachimura's got nine. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. And on both sides of the ball, Rui Hachimura plays with great aggression. Grant, he embraces that part of his game. You can't ignore the physicality that he plays with. Rui is at his best when he's playing bully ball. Now, here is James. Nine points in the game. Pass to Russell. Now Achimura. It's James on the wing. Defended by Kuzma. And he gets that one. 11 points in the game. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Poole against Russell. Tries to break his ice. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. What? Wait. Hey, dunks are always for the big boys. <laughs> Emphatic move by the point guard. Forget just landing in. He wanted to make a statement. Russell, that's good. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Now a timeout called by Washington. You got to like what Anthony Davis has done in this game. He's been on a mission, attacking the basket all game long. I'm curious to see what adjustments they can make.
Russell against Poole. Kuzma outside. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Now, here is James. 11 points in the game. Davis down low. Defended by Kuzma. Three on the clock. Shot is good by Reeves. Firing on all cylinders here in the third. Only one miss in five attempts. Poole with the ball. He has seven. Avdia passes to Poole. Back to Avdia. Pass to Kuzma. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Reeves. 12 points for him. Puts it up from 15. Davis misses. The Wizards have got just two of six in the second half. Cool outside. Inside. And it's Kuzma finishing it off. I'm not surprised to see Kuzma throw it down. He's got the length and leaping ability to do so. James passes to Davis. Yep, that one goes. Davis has got 14 points for the game. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. Now here's Kuzma. 11 points in the game. Poole, the pass to Kuzma. And that basket makes him 6 for 11. Shooting a good percentage. He's hot this quarter. Getting the shots he wants. And he's delivering. Pass to Reeves. Out to James. Hachimura outside. Here's Reeves. The 11-footer. The shot by James. No good. And so it's Poole who brings up the ball for the Wizards. To the middle. Here's Vukcevic. Checked by Davis. Vukcevic, good. The Lakers have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. There was a time when star players were traded for a few picks and some quality bets. Now a new paradigm, teams mortgaging their futures for a star and sending away their first round picks for the better part of a decade. Brian, it's clear for teams going all in, you have to push all of your chips into the middle. High stakes for sure, Ali. Thank you. Here's Poole. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Anthony Davis, second personal foul, first team foul. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Something I've noticed is how aggressive they've been on driving the basketball. Time and time again, they've turned cracks in the defense into points. And also, I just love how they've been moving the ball side to side on the perimeter. Great passing, unlocking their offensive potential. And he makes the first. Denwitty, he's checked in for the Lakers. And both free throws good for Poole. Here's James. He's got 11. It's Denwitty on the wing. High post Davis. Avdia pulls it in. Washington's gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Kuzma against James. Pass to Kispert. Here's Vukcevic. Back to Kispert. Got it. Good job in the low post. Kispert's got his first points of the night. The Lakers have gotten 6 of 10 shots to fall in this third quarter. James passes to Dinwiddie. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Davis, he's checked in for Washington. At the line for the Lakers, Spencer Dinwiddie. 
One shot. One shot. Free throw good, Dinwiddie. A difficult situation for Washington. Pool outside. It's tipped. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. And finished off by Davis. You can see how locked in AD is at the moment. He's spilling it and the shots are falling for him. Pool, the pass to Kispert. Back to Pool. Davis with a screen on Russell. Here's Pool. Rebound, the Lakers. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. James, outside. Pass to Russell. Back to James. Achimura with the ball. Right side, Davis. And it's Poole with a rebound. Right idea, but just too much heat on him defensively, even with the fadeaway. Here's Vukcevic. Now Davis. He's covered by Dinwiddie. And here's Kispert from the arc. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got his third assist of the night. Over to the left wing. Screen by James. Achimura, the pass to James. Davis drawing the double team. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. Avdia pulls it in. Avdia has got four rebounds now. To the paint, Vukcevic. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. James passes to Dinwiddie. Achimura outside. That one goes. Count it. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Washington with the ball. Following the score by the Lakers. Pass to Vukcevic. And out of bounds, the Lakers will take it. The Wizards making a switch here. Gill's checked in. Hayes is checked in for the Lakers. Prince comes in for Achimura. And so it's the Lakers with it. And here's Davis. Pass to Hayes. And here's Russell, guarded by Poole. Now Davis. From about 16, that falls. Nice assist by Russell. Davis has got 18. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Davis down low. He's against Hayes. And down it goes. Two points. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And I'm going to give him a lot of credit because he saw what he was up against and he was undeterred. Now here's Russell. He's got 11. Fader on the way. Prince can't hit. Went to the fadeaway. Didn't need to, though. Probably cost him some points. Avdia passes to Davis. Here's Gill. Pool outside. There's a screen. Pass to Gill. Five on the clock. Back to Pool. Let's a floater go. And the layup is good. Poole's got six in the quarter. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Davis with a screen on Poole. Left side, Davis. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Let's a three fly. Sends it home from three-point land. Give him eight. Beautiful vision and awareness there from Anthony Davis to find the open man for the score. Davis against Poole. 
man, it's in there. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Los Angeles has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Davis, a screen. For three, Dinwiddie. Kispert grabs a miss. Washington has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Poole, the pass to Avdia. Here's Gill. Pass to Poole. Just five on the clock. Fires for three. Gill, no. Here's Prince. Checked by Davis. Here's Prince. Now Hayes. The three. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a commanding 22-point lead going into the break. And the way they've been playing, I just don't think they could possibly lose control of this one. Back to the game after this break. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. And so in the game for Los Angeles... Jackson Hayes is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Torian Prince. Then there's Cam Reddish. And it's Dinwiddie in at point guard. Here's Baldwin. And the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Greg? Well, B.A., the league seems focused on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. Clock is at three. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken, and the team is suffering the consequences. Dinwiddie passes to James. Over Kuzma. And that LeBron one's good. James. James. So smooth from the mid-range. LeBron knows when to fire. Pass to Gill. Davis against Reddish. Outside Davis. They set a pick. Down low. Here's Gill. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. James with the ball. Defended by Kuzma. Outside Reddish. The three is up. He drops it from range. Reddish has gotten himself on the board with a three there. A shot Cam can make. The D must respect his three-point shot. Pass to Gill. And Grant, you grew up in the D.C. area. A lot of great basketball players coming out of the DMV in recent years. Yeah, B.A., especially PG County with Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, and plenty of others. It was a great place to grow up in the DMV as a sports fan, and that legacy definitely continues. Here's Gill. Outside Butler. 4-3. To me, there's a fine line between being aggressive and just flat out forcing it. His inability to make shots right now is sinking the ship. Hayes misses. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off. And sometimes that's all it takes. 
Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. Reddish passes to Hayes. Now here's Dinwiddie. Over Butler. Gill grabs the board. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. There's the steal. Reddish with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Butler against Dinwiddie. Driving to the basket. Over Butler. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Dinwiddie. D'Angelo Russell, he's checked in for Reddish. On the court. And so it's Kuzma who brings up the ball for the Wizards. Pass to Vukcevic. There's a screen. And even the players have expressed concern about load management. Are changes afoot, or is this the new normal, Greg? Well, B.A., I think protecting players from injury is smart to do. But maybe the ticket sellers need to highlight the back-to-back -back games so fans are well aware that some players might be sitting. Kuzma outside. Shot clock at six. This one for three. Making a great play to challenge the shot. LeBron's D can shut you down. Russell to pass to James. Hayes with a screen on Kuzma. James. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. He went oh, my way up. goodness. Add that one to LeBron's highlight reel. How about the creativity in midair? Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Washington has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Pass to Vukcevic. And here is Kuzma. And he drives in. And here's Butler inside. And Davis with the basket. On the assist by Butler. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Russell finds James. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. First team foul. Washington making some changes. Avdia, he's checked in for Baldwin. Kispert comes in for Davis. And it's Jordan Poole in for Butler. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And with expansion whispers continuing to grow, Smitty, if it happens, you figure there would have to be some realignment. Yes, B.A., most likely a team would move to the east. Presents a chance for the NBA to change the layout of the league. Might add a division and find ways to cut down on travel. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. That's going to send Kyle Kuzma to the line. It's on LeBron James. At the line for Washington. Kyle Kuzma. One shot. And that one misses. Kyle Kuzma is trying to be more of a team player. Whether he's coming off the bench or starting, he's starting to accept his role. And the shot goes in. One sign of a great playmaker, hitting his man in stride. The Wizards have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Pass to Vukcevic. Here's Kuzma. Pool outside. Nails it from three. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. And the Lakers with possession here. Here's Prince. The three, James. And the Lakers hit again from deep. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. Pass to Vukcevic. To the middle. Kispert. Rebounded by the Lakers. 
James has got a six rebound on the night. And I heard Giannis Antetokounmpo say he would have loved to go to your alma mater, Grant, because of all the tall and skilled players that have come out of Duke. You know, B.A., I'm not sure he mentioned me on that list, but certainly nice to hear that from Giannis. Washington calls timeout. Switch here. Reddish is checked in. And it's pool with the ball for the Wizards. You had an incredible career. Two-time college champ, seven-time All-Star. But tell me where owner ranks in your career resume. You know, B.A., it's very fascinating. The, the main reason I wanted to open the door for other ex-players to get equity in teams, I do believe ownership groups should involve ex-players and listen to us, you know, and I think that is where the league is ultimately heading. Now here's Hayes to the paint. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to go on Jordan Poole. A solid shooter with good all-around skills. Cam Reddish is tough to anticipate defensively. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. A versatile wing with a good overall skill set. Reddish has a bright future in this league, and I think his peers would agree. And so he hits both. Here's Poole. Pass to Kispert. Back to Poole. Here's Avdia. There's the screen. Shot clock at five. Good on the shot. Kuzma's got 11 points here in the second half. Kyle Kuzma is a natural score. His offensive improvements are paying off. Dinwiddie with it. It's Prince on the wing. Guarded by Poole. Here's Denwitty. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Grant? You know, B.A., storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Players do have a voice like never before. And these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. Free throw, no good for Dinwiddie. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. Poole, the pass to Kuzma. Back to Poole. And there's a pick. And stolen by Hayes. In transition, here they come! 
and slam dunk by James. Love the unselfishness. Not only can Cam create for himself, he can also create for others. On the wing, Kuzma. And the baseline jumper goes down. Kuzma's got 19 points. Strong performance from him. But he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Pass to James. Dinwiddie against Poole. Back to James. And slam dunk by James. Still filling it up with ease. LeBron looks like he's riding a bicycle. Here's Vukjevic. He's defended by Hayes. Here's Kispert. He takes it in. Nice D from Reddish. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. It's stolen by Poole. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for his shot. Poole against Dinwiddie. To the inside. And finished off by Hayes. Just flawless timing right there. Right? The dish, the catch, the flush, the whole thing was perfect. Poole against Dinwiddie. Avdia passes to Kuzma. Pass to Kispert. On the wing, Kuzma. Five on the clock. The floater, he gets it in there. Kuzma's got 21 points in the game. Showing good touch on a variety of shots. Kuzma this time with the little teardrop. James, a screen on Poole. For three, Dinwiddie. And the Lakers hit again from deep. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. Pass to Vukcevic. There's the drive. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Lakers. And the Lakers with some changes. Giles comes in for James. And Christie subbed in for Prince. Los Angeles has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Cool against Dinwiddie. Down low. And finished off by Hayes. Woo! <laughs> B.A., that's lit. Ferocious all the way. Man, that was good. Here's Kispert. Pass to Poole. To the middle. Here's Avdia. Clock at six. Now Kuzma. The three ball. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Lakers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They'll wish they could have seen more of these guys. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Anthony Davis. He played with a lot of fire, a lot of heart, especially on the glass. He's one of those guys who acts like every rebound is his, and many of them were tonight. Here's Christie. Here's Giles. Dinwiddie outside. Christie passes to Giles. Over Kuzma. Shot is good by Giles. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. Here's Christie. And 
so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement indeed, B.A. It was an enemy territory. They controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? LeBron, it's been a long road trip away from home. Aside from wins, what are you looking to accomplish? Well, for us, I think it's great to, to be on the road. I mean, it's just us. You know, you kind of have like a bunker mentality when it's just you on the road. It's just us. That's it. You know, so we're far away from our home. Uh, so it's just, you know, like I said, it's all about us and, and how we continue to try to get better, especially with our young guys. You know, I think it's a good experience for all of them. Growing that mentality will definitely help come playoff time. Thanks, LeBron. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. So for Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis.